have a very, very special guest with us. It is my husband. He's going to show you how to bone a chicken. I will be adding some details later in this video that'll show you how much money you can save by knowing how to do this. It does not take long. He'll probably go a little slower than usual so that you can see the steps along the way. And I will try to break it down in writing so that when you see this video, you'll know how to buy a whole chicken and break it down yourself. Here we go. There he is. Hi there. Here you have a whole chicken. Yep, from Misty Knoll Farm. Great local place. Very important to take it out of the package. Here. Convenient trash can right underneath cutting board. So then you take the neck and the gizzards out. Okay, you're pulling out the... Can pull out the wings. Okay, and show where you cut that off on this next one. Let's there's go a little slower. There's a joint. Okay, wait, I don't All have the camera on it. The okay. Wow, it's that easy to slice through. Look at that. Okay, and you don't use those wings? No, you don't have to, and then you can okay. just cut a little bit into the leg. You break this joint backwards. Okay. You don't even have to use a knife. You could just pull. And that's the One whole leg. leg. Okay. So show me again where you just make an incision. You break that out of the socket. And you just did that by um, Reversing pushing the it out? the joint, yep. Pushing okay, so you don't have to cut through it or anything, you nope. just... And if you want to use a knife, if you don't feel good about tearing it, just run it right along the body, as close as you can to the carcass. Wow. There's a second leg, if you want to use the thigh. Okay, wait, where are you here? There's also a joint right in here. Hold on, you're going a little too fast for my camera to keep up with you. I told you guys this was easy. Okay. And you just go right in between that joint and you have a drumstick and a thigh. Okay, show this one again. The where joint, you can spot? feel it as it moves. Okay. It's right there. Very cool. Two drumsticks, two thighs. Stand this guy right up. You can cut this excess off if you're not quite sure where the breast begins. Okay. And you can feel this joint also. Or better yet, maybe you should cut right along the, the back breastbone. Bone? Oh, it's the breastbone. There are two sides to the breastbone. And the wishbone's right here. And you okay. want to go make sure the camera's seen to this. the outside of the wishbone. I wonder if I and should stand get, that up. Should I get over where you are to get and a better view? And you can view? see the joint right there. Okay. You just cut through it, and again, you can get a good grip. You can just rip it right off. Okay. And the same thing on this side. And the wishbone on this was broken, so you just have to find it, which is. These two pieces right there. Right. There's a little bit of a tendon that's in that okay. tenderloin. You want to cut through that. Right at that joint. Follow right along the carcass and pull it right off. Another. Now what is that? That would be a Statler breast or an airline breast that comes with the bone on if you want to take that off and use it for chicken wings. can do that too. Okay, and great. You have a boneless breast. If you want to skin it, and you just pull the skin off. You can take this excess off, which you can throw in a stock pot. And do you put all of the skin in when you are making a stock or not? Uh, yes and no. It depends how much of a hurry I'm in. Okay. And there you have it. Great, and now what you do with that is throw it in a pot of water to make stock, correct? And this you can throw in a pot of water along with the neck and the giblets. You can save the liver to make 
Can you identify which is which? Because I bet there's people that don't know That's which. That's the heart. Thing. Okay. That's the neck. Okay. And that's the liver. Okay. Which you can eat. You can make a liver mousse. You can feed it to your dog, your cat. <laughs> okay, and which of those pieces do you put into the chicken stock? All of them are? The carcass, the neck, and the heart. And not the liver because it would and flavor if, it too much, if right? If you're using the chicken wings, you can take off this little tip and you can add that. If you're not using the chicken wings, you can add that to the stock. Okay. So it all depends on what you want. If you want to use the wing, there's that other wing. Oh, there's one right here. And then there's that. So this is quite edible, chicken wings. Okay. If you want that on for presentation, you can keep that on like that. Or if you don't. Or if you don't, you just cut it off. Okay. So we've got our pile over here for the chicken stock we're going to make. The breast can go over there. Or if you're making wings for a party, you can use okay. all that right there. For a Super Bowl, go through a lot of chickens. <laughs> okay. So great. We're left with our pile for our chicken stock. Oh, that breast probably needs to go over there. So there we've got two breasts, two thighs, two legs. Here we've got all of the parts to make a yummy chicken stock, plus the liver, which we're going to give to our dog.